Hello, I'm dressed very casually as you can see and I'll talk about that shortly but for now I've got a fish. I am actually after perch and my target species for the evening and I'm lure fishing. I am in my work lounging around and even going to bed clothes. They are of course the New Saints items, the top there and a pair of shorts. I do think though you need to be careful when you perhaps have an employer and you wear their clothes or even if you're on social media and you have your own opinions but you are nevertheless associated with that club. I think you need to be careful a lot of people put on social media these are my own views and not reflective of that of my employer of course that doesn't mean anything because if you start posting some really dodgy stuff then you will be held to account because regardless of whatever disclaimer you use nevertheless you are associated and I think the same also applies to some extent with the clothes that you wear. I'm very careful about being recorded. For example, if I did an opinion piece, which my opinions aren't extreme anyway, but they are my opinions, so I don't want them to be associated with the club. But I think I'm on safe ground as far as fishing is concerned. Well, with most people anyway, you'll never be able to please everyone, will you? I've just been talking to an angler that I know. He's in the next peg to where I am now. And we're gonna have a little chat in a moment or two after this cast. Rob! You're doing a, a different type of fishing to me today, but I believe you've had some success already. Um, yeah, I've been fishing a uh, maggot feeder uh, rig with a helicopter on it to uh, try and combat some of this weed that's out there um, and it's produced some success. These last five or six short sessions have had tench up to nearly six and two pound plus perch as well. So, uh, you yeah, know, looking forward to uh, more sessions on the method. That's fantastic. Now, I'm much older than you and I've been fishing for a good number of years. You're just 21. Mm -hmm. How did you get into angling? Well, uh, both my dad and his dad uh, were very keen anglers, so it's something that's passed on in the blood, and I think that's the case for a lot of people that start fishing, have a family member or friend that's interested, and then they, they catch the bug, uh, so to speak. And what would you say to someone who is perhaps your age or younger even mm -hmm. to get them to take up fishing? I would say that it's uh, certainly a welcome uh, distraction from any stresses that you might have in your life and uh, yeah, it's something that you can just spend a few hours on a weekend afternoon or something like that and, um, and also that there's plenty of advice out there for people that are starting as anglers. Uh, just look up your uh, local tackle shop, for example, um, RD in uh, Starbridge, they're a really good bunch of lads and uh, they'll put you on the right track if you haven't taken up fishing before and want to find out some more info. Well, I'm certain I'll appreciate the plug anyway. Rob, thanks for your time, that's brilliant. And I hope you catch for the rest of the session. Cheers, thank you very much. Last cast for me, in the blog entry I will run through the tackle that I've used today. I've had just small perch, but as always I've enjoyed it. I say that a lot don't I and the reason I do of course is that it's true. The worst thing for me about fishing and I've always been like this ever since I was a kid is packing away. And people sometimes say to me when I'm 
walking back to the car, walking away from the water's edge. Have you had enough? And I always reply, I've never had enough. I've just got other things that I need to get on with. And that's the case today, as the lure comes out of the water for the final time. Out and about yourself, tight lines.